Hey YouTube, iTech411 here, my full comparison of two of the hottest tablets on the market, the Apple iPad Mini and the Google Nexus 7. Let's take a look and see which one's worth your money. Alright, so here I do have the new Nexus 7 and the iPad Mini. Uh, I have both the 16 gigabyte models here. So the first thing I want to compare is the screens. Now obviously, you know the Nexus 7 does have a 1080p screen, so you think it would be a lot better. And, I mean, obviously it is going to be better, but we'll take a closer look and see how far apart they are. So the iPad Mini, you have a nice 7.9 inch screen with a resolution of 1024 by 768 giving you 163 pixels per inch. Now granted, this is a pretty low pixel density, and you can tell just by looking at it that it's not the, the greatest uh, or sharpest screen. However, it is very bright and it does see it pretty nice. The colors are really vibrant and the viewing angles are really good as well. So it actually has a pretty nice screen on the iPad mini, but it's just not super sharp and you can really tell that in reading and uh, just basic stuff like that. Now the Nexus 7 has a 7 inch 1920 by 1200 resolution screen and it's actually a 7.02 inch screen and it is very sharp. It's at 323 pixels per inch, so nearly double the iPad's mini screen, and you can definitely tell it's also very bright and very vibrant, and the viewing angles are also very good. I'd say the viewing angles are about the same on each tablet. Uh, I'd say the Nexus 7 might have a slight edge, but it's not really that big of a difference. You can see it, the colors are very, very vibrant. You can see this yellow looks really nice, and just a really nice uh, high-quality screen on Nexus 7. It makes everything, including reading, really easy and really sharp. So obviously there's a big edge to the Nexus 7, the iPad mini screen, despite the low resolution, really isn't that bad. Now on both of these, right above the screen, we do have a 1.2 megapixel camera, and they're decent for um, you know, selfies or video calls or whatever, but the iPad mini does have autofocus, where the Nexus 7 has fixed focus, so the iPad mini does have a bit of an edge in that, because the Nexus 7's fixed focus can be a little bit irritating for video calls or Skype or FaceTime or whatever. So the iPad Mini does have a slight edge in the front camera, but on the back they both have 5 megapixel shooters, which, you know, they're decent for a tablet, but they're not really not going to want to use it that much, and you shouldn't on a tablet, but it doesn't really matter. And so the, the backs are both 5 megapixels, so these have the same cameras, uh, and they get the job done, but nothing really that you would buy one over the other because of the cameras. However, the iPad Mini has a slightly better front-facing camera. Now, on the iPad Mini, you do have a physical home button on the bottom, which you can touch to hold to activate Siri, or you can double tap to get into multitasking. And then you do have volume buttons on the side, as well as a, um, a mute switch or a vibrate or a uh, rotation rotation lock. You do have a power button on the top, a microphone, and a headphone jack. On the bottom, we have our stereo speakers and our lightning connector, which is uh, you can put in the lightning connector either way, so that it's pretty convenient. Now on the Nexus 7, we do have touch capacitive buttons. We have back, we have home, and then we have multitasking. And if you're in an application, you usually have a menu button. Now on the bottom, we do have our micro USB port. On the side, we have our volume buttons and our power button. On top, we have our headphone jack. On the bottom, we have two of the speakers. And on top, we have some more speakers. So very similar um, with the ports on both devices. Next 7, you also have a uh, microphone on the side so the port is pretty much the same. Now on the Nexus 7 on the back you do have a really nice back. If you want to check it out you can see my full review of the Nexus 7 and you can see that we do have the Nexus logo and the Asus and it's real soft to the touch, real uh, nice to hold and it's just really, it looks really sharp and it's really uh, clean looking. It's really nice, it just uh, feels really nice in the hand and you can see it doesn't really get too dirty at all but on the iPad you have a little bit higher quality Aluminum. You see, we have the Apple logo, and you get this in white or silver. The Nexus 7 is just black. You see, we also have just iPad with the Apple logo and our camera. So you can see for that, uh, it does look pretty nice, and it feels really good in the hand. However, it's uh, I don't really like the feel as much. It's like the softer feel of the Nexus 7. However, it is a little bit higher quality. Now we also have this kind of chamfered bezel edge, which is a diamond cut, as you can see. And it does look pretty nice and pretty high quality. However, it does get scratched pretty easily, which can be a little bit annoying. And for software, the iPad is running iOS 6.1.3, the latest form. However, iOS 7 is coming out with some, um, not too big of changes, but some 
really uh, OS changes and uh, just incremental stuff like that. And you can see I do have an iPad running iOS 7 right here, and you can see what, kind of what it looks like. I do have some videos on that if you want to check it out as well. But it is a very nice tablet OS. I generally prefer iOS on a tablet and Android on a phone, but it's really smooth, really minimalism, and everything about it is very snappy. On the Nexus 7, we are running Android 4.3 with the, the new Nexus 7, and you see it's also pretty nice as well. It's very snappy, and we'll get into speed later, but basically uh, there's not too many new features. In Android 4.3, we have a few um, kind of security with uh, profiles and setting restrictions. Apart from that, these are really up to you to decide which OS you like better. Obviously, with Android, you have more customization, but with iOS, you have more speed and you have more ease of use. Now, for speed, the Nexus 7 is running a 1.5 GHz Snapdragon S4 Pro processor, which is incredibly snappy. You see, everything you do is very fast, and gaming is great. And I do have videos on this, uh, on speed and performance, which I will put in the description of this video, and I will try to annotate. So, it's very fast, very snappy, and I really, this is one of the fastest tablets I've used. Uh, even faster, it's not quite as fast as the new iPad, but it's faster than the Nexus 10, Galaxy S3, and the Note 10. So, very fast, it's, I haven't really had any delays, but the only problem I'd say is in, um, scrolling it's pretty choppy and scrolling if I try to give you an example of this you can see that if you're switching between different things see that scrolling is rather poor you can see it's pretty choppy and slow so just scrolling is not very good however and it's again very fast it's a blazing fast tablet you shouldn't have any issues with performance on the iPad mini you have a little bit older you have an A5 processor with 500 with 512 megabytes of RAM compared to 2 gigabytes that you get on the new Nexus 7, so 4 times more RAM, which does help in gaming. Now, this is still a very fast processor because it is running on a pretty simple iOS. Um, however, it's not great for if you're getting to more advanced tasks, even though gaming still is great on this because developers really know how to design their apps to work well with the iPad Mini. So this is still really fast, but obviously the Nexus 7 will be a little bit faster and pretty much all basic tasks just like that. Now another thing that you should compare with these two is portability. Now the Nexus 7 is one-handable and extremely easily, and the iPad Mini, although it is one-handable, it's a little bit of a stretch, literally. Um, you can see that it fits in one hand. If someone has bigger hands, I don't have the biggest hands, it will be pretty easy, but small hands, you're going to have to use it like this. However, the bezels on the side are pretty small, so it's really easy to hold one-handed. But on the Nexus 7, the bezels are pretty big, so it makes it a little bit more awkward to hold it one-handed. And you can see, for comparison, they are the same height. That is because the Nexus 7 has very large bezels. You can see that. I'll line them up, and you can see that they are about the same height. However, the iPad Mini is um, much wider so, but again, you do have almost an inch bigger screen on the iPad Mini with a 7.9 inch screen, and that really makes everything you do from reading to watching videos, it makes it much nicer because of the bigger screen. I really do prefer the size of this screen better, but because this is such a high resolution screen, I've kind of opted towards this because I can still see at almost as much with this Nexus 7 because it has such a high resolution 1080p display. Compared to this, you know, it has a bigger screen, it doesn't have that high quality. So, really, you can go either way with these screens. If you want a little bit bigger, go towards the iPad Mini. But if you want something sharper and more portable, go towards the Nexus 7. But both screens, I think you'll be happy with. And with a uh, new iPad Mini coming out with, hopefully, Retina, it should be a perfect screen for me anyway. So, that is pretty much it. You can see the battery life on these are both fantastic. I get a little bit more out of the iPad Mini. I get over, easily over 11 hours with the iPad Mini. And with the Nexus 7, I'm getting about 10 hours. So, fantastic battery, all day battery life on both these devices. And you can go through a couple of days, maybe, or even like weeks on standby without charging these. So, battery life should not be a problem. Slightly better on the iPad Mini. So, that is a little bit of an edge, but, you know, it's pretty close on both. And the iPad Mini is a good amount thinner. It's over a millimeter and a half thinner than the Nexus 7. So the Nexus 7 doesn't feel thick. It's still a very thin tablet, but the iPad Mini definitely does feel thinner because it is thinner. 
So that's about it to this comparison. It really, this is up to you. But as of right now, the Nexus 7 is my device I choose. However, when the iPad Mini 2 comes out, I'm almost sure to go to the iPad Mini. Because I do love the much uh, bigger display, the almost inch bigger. And I do love the thinner design. So when you get the Retina display on this and a little bit faster processor, I think the iPad Mini 2 will be the tablet for me. But for now, at this time, before the iPad Mini comes out, second generation comes out later this year, I think the Nexus 7 II is my choice. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe and like it, and check out some of my other Nexus 7 videos and iPad videos, which will be in the description. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, iTechCore11, and check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.